My boy said, also, 1 p.m. okay with you today? Question mark. Got the whole setup ready so we can lock and load when you get here. <laughs> the whole setup was apparently ready. and We can lock and load when we get here. OG, how long we been here for? We've been here for about a solid uh, hour. Solid minimum. a solid hour. Solid hour and ten. Yeah, the yeah, tough yeah. part and is. And you know what? And I got gaslighted and being like, oh, well, I just thought you'd be late. So I was late to get back to my Bro, place. I was tripping about being late at 1230. I was like, damn, I'm missing the 1230 shit. I'm going be, to be holding everybody up. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Listen, nope. listen, here's the Smart. reality. Here's the reality. So first off, it was a time zone issue. Okay, I was talking oh, time right. zone. I was talking Hawaii time. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah, you talking about Hawaii time. It's not 1 p.m. in Hawaii right now. It is. Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Or it, no, no, no. It's noon. No. So I'm an hour early. Oh, what? yes, okay. I was early. Yeah. No. Wait, why are we talking Hawaii yeah. time though? We're in LA. I was just feeling the Aloha vibes oh, this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were you feeling the Aloha vibes? Yeah, I didn't. What, trans- did, what did you do this morning that made you feel Aloha? What, 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 what type <laughs> of to that. what type of island vibe led you to a? I had a little acai bowl. Ooh, yeah. That, that just screams Hawaii, bro. You know, Hawaii. it is. Even Does though, even though there's no correlation to Hawaii yeah, at all. Yeah, at all. Literally. But, literally. But, you know, but people feel like they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Wait. Um, Sonny, listen. Okay. You want, you know what? You want a cookie. Okay. This is the first <laughs> time Sonny's been early ever. Like, <laughs> I actually. Not even true. Okay. So we originally said, true. we originally said 1230. We were going to record this, right? Right, right, right. I debated not even telling Sonny, let's push it to one. Because I was like, there's no chance he's legitimately here at 1230. And I was like, there's, there's. A more than solid chance he texts me at 12 30 like yo on my way like because that that's the typical <laughs> and then I, I see him tweeting and shit i'm like there's no way he's gonna be on time then i'm like what's your eta he's like eight minutes or whatever i was like god damn the motherfucker was actually for one time in his life <laughs> for one time for Sonny, one time is, is crazy is this true hey listen i get to places when i want to the guy would be late <laughs> to his own funeral like nuts probably <laughs> nuts nuts speaking of funerals kendrick won Kendrick, Kendrick did win. I was like, where are we taking this? <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy transition. <laughs> yeah. Kendrick took it though. Kendrick took oh it. man, Kendrick caught a body. Speaking of Kendrick, he's he's back there on your wall, but uh He is. Shout out Kendrick. Yeah. I don't know if any of the cameras can pick that up right now, but Kendrick uh, is on the wall. Kendrick is he's, on the he's wall. He's on the wall, but yeah, yeah he no, he, he he caught a body. That was crazy. Drake's yeah. Drake's last song was like pretty fucking trash. It's, he had like only like a few minimal bars in there, but it was like, honestly though, I will say like, I keep slapping family matters. Like that shit is fire all day, bro. Kendrick just opened his mouth. You know, Somebody drop a 50 bag in the right D got for a sh- no, not again. <laughs> not no, not <laughs> a 50 He's, bag for a D got in a He's spot. sick of me saying that shit. Oh, well, because you ruined the shit for me. You, you ruined the, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, like at this point, uh, yeah. bro, I mean, Max, Dropped a 50 bag for a D God in a spot. So, like, we got to. She really it. did. Like, legitimately, if you go look at the D God sales spot, it says 50 soul. 50 exactly. Soul. Dropped a 50 bag. It's crazy. There we go. There we go. Well, shout out <laughs> Max. Bar shout life. out but Max yeah. for joining D Gods. Facts. But yeah, yeah Kendrick, Kendrick caught that body. We got a hit. LA going crazy out here. Is LA going crazy? They're going crazy. Yeah. yeah. We're hearing not yeah. like us everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Show us, show us, show us your seat walk, Mark. Show no, no, we're not. The, the one that, the one that you did last week at the cupcake office. We're not, we're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not doing that. We're not doing that. But you know, we're first I was off, surprised when we, I got can we, can we, you know what? Can we give a shout out to the boy OG for joining the damn podcast? We got, we haven't even talked about that. Sonny's talking the damn ear off. OG, welcome to the podcast. How's it going, OG? Yo, man, happy to be here. Happy OG to be, shoots. OG, OG shoots. shoots. The one and only. You know? you know what I'm saying? Happy to be on the pod. Always wanted to get on a Mark Colser pod. Now here we are. But look now, at that. This is not the Mark Colser <laughs> pod. Mark, the Mark and Sonny Just pod. Know, the Mark and Sonny This pod. is D Weekly. Is I have weekly. a bone to pick. Because <laughs> everybody be also like, oh, Mark Colser podcast, Mark Colser this. Hey, I'm on this bitch. Yo, I, I I'm tweeted, on this bitch. I tweeted, I said, yo, uh, I'm trying to do some podcasts this week. Yo, Daniel, yo, Mark, what's the vibe? Sonny like... I right, what the fuck? Like bro? I almost debated about like you know what we got this slot right now. I'm not even gonna hit you up. You didn't even <laughs> tag me in that shit. Like here's as the, if I'm not an LA podcaster <laughs> now. I've been doing this shit for six months. It's like it's good. It's like this. Here's the reality of it. Here's oh, the what's the reality? Here's Mark? the reality of it. Like, like because so, I'm brown. <laughs> that's, crazy. That's, crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. No, it's like it's like we're the Lakers, right? We're the Lakers, <laughs> and like Derek Fisher mattered, but like. 
Kobe, Derek Kobe Fisher. won the ship. Derek you know what I mean? Fisher. You the Derek Fisher Derek of the podcast. Derek Fisher is crazy. <laughs> the disrespect is nuts. Like OG the OG the Shaq. Yo, this, this might, this might just episode. be our last podcast for OG, so thanks for joining us. Bro, I'm going to I'ma just here. go ahead and uh, Wait, is that take, the D'Angelo take Russell with the, the team? Take the witness <laughs> with me. He just called you the D-Lo. <laughs> the disrespect is crazy. I'm putting up numbers. <laughs> I'm Jokic out here. You oh, fucking Jokic. Wait, wait, didn't, you, you, you wait, Michael didn't Porter. D-Lo, didn't D-Lo get zero points on the last game? Yeah, he might have. He might have. <laughs> boy, boy was, we are not the Lakers. Boy, we do not want to be the Lakers right The championship now. Lakers. Not like the yeah, – yeah, yeah. Which yeah. champion? The Kobe and – Yeah, the Derek Fisher. God, you were the deep. Yeah, we got Kobe. That's, that's crazy you're not even giving me Shaq. That's like insane. I mean, that's, that's nuts. You don't for sure. You don't. I know, have I know how you feel now. No, I know how you feel. I mean, you as slow we're as Shaq. We're, we're gonna we're gonna move differently from here on out. <laughs> you as slow as Shaq. Mark gonna start seeing less zeros in his account, and then he gonna be like, "Damn, shouldn't have called him Derek uh, Fisher." <laughs> the the hate towards Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher was a, was a prominent part of the team. He was clutch. Oh, I'm not yeah. a role player though. <laughs> That's fine. That's I'm not fine. a role player. Um, but no, every time somebody somebody posts something about the podcast and they just tag me, I laugh. I laugh out loud because I'm like, Sonny's going to be so mad. But here's the reality. Now when D-Gods gets mentioned, you get mentioned. I don't, I don't even get it mentioned on that. So it's like you became D-Gods co-president. I'm like, I've been here since day one. I don't even get mentioned anymore. Frank Podcast. Were you all the president? That. Well, no, but it's like. The, Were you, know, you the president? No, but that's what okay. I'm saying. So you get mentioned anytime D-God related stuff gets mentioned, podcast gets mentioned, it's probably going to be me. Wait, does Mark even have a D-God? But that's I do crazy. a podcast. <laughs> I know. I, I now know. do a podcast. You know what? I'm gonna start putting that I do a podcast in my bio because it's still not in my bio. Oh, that's the so issue. That's now, the issue. now, yeah, now yeah. people will know. Okay, you there know. we go. There we go. That's how we fix it. Oh, this. that's, the that's issue. how we fix this. Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Not again. Welcome, OG. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Hey man. Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Are you? How's, how's LA treating you? How's this LA crypto culture? Amen. Treating you because you came you came through straight from Dubai. It feels like and just tap the fuck in. That's what people and are saying. Yeah, man. the past like three. I feel like the past three four weeks have been for you have been like insane. Right? Crazy. Like, yeah, I mean Dubai was absolutely wicked in and of itself. Took a little high. I didn't. I didn't think we were gonna get you back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what everybody was saying. I was debating, <laughs> man. I was debating. It was my third week out there. I was like, do I renew my visa? Like, I might just stay here a little while longer. Oh, you have to have a visa going to Dubai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get there, you oh, get okay, there, you, okay. You, fig- you figure it out, but. No, I didn't Mark, know. don't worry. We'll get you out of the country one day. <laughs> you Eventually. Know? You've well, never been out the country? No, I have, but <laughs> I'm not. I, uh, if I it's prob- not Dubai, was it really out the country? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, listen, like, I grew up going to Canada a shit ton, which does not count. Does not yeah, count. Right. I have not done a lot of world travel. So when I do, when the content goes global, shit's okay. going to be crazy. Okay. This year's, this year's the year for it. Oh, hell it's yeah. If you think I'm not going to be showing the Detroit Lions in Singapore, y'all got me twisted. Y'all got me fucked up. Hey, why the fuck would they care about yeah, the Detroit Lions? Yeah, why the fuck would they give a shit? Why the fuck would you be shilling the Lions over so Why would you be shilling a losing over team? Oh, a losing team? Over, over, OG over, gonna get booted from this podcast over, so quick. Even that hoe-ass coin that you dropped. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I, dropped, I dropped a toe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's revealed, crazy, honestly. Bro. That's crazy. Cowboy. If, if there's any person in this world that I think would make a meme about themselves it's and Mark. turn it into a coin. It's Mark Colson. That's it's, Mark the, Colson. it's absolutely Mark Colson. The disrespect is insane. It's insane. Like this is, this is what I deal with in Web three. <laughs> this is what I deal with, and it and it and it's it's hurtful. It's hurtful. Bro, I, I I messaged him because he posted it on his fucking Instagram story. Yeah, why did he you do that? He posted it on his that's, Instagram that's a story. Definitely like I bro, created this coin type no, of thing. No, bro. no, 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 bro. And I was just like, you love this shit, and he was like. It's about damn time somebody made a meme <laughs> of me, and I was like, "Damn, my bad." I still influencer thought influencer market be in his bag. No, you no, know no. What I, mean? I, I thought I still thought when you don't know shit came out. I was like, that meme coin would would hit. Like you just go. The like, real question here is, did they send you aloe? <laughs> no, they didn't send me shit. They didn't send me shit. But the uh, but yeah, when you don't know shit came out, I was like, the meme would write itself. And I was like, I was kind of thinking somebody would drop that. And I was like, legally, I have no interest in dropping that. But if somebody does, but hypothetically, but speaking. hypothetically, somebody does, they send me a bag of it. I wouldn't be mad. Uh, but the uh, but yeah, then Cowboy Mark got <laughs> put out there and. I mean, the real is, question is why Cowboy Mark? There's been so many good Mark memes. You with the fucking bro, that's terrible that's Detroit honestly, chain. Yeah, that's honestly got to <laughs> terrible. Be, like that's <laughs> on, that's <laughs> honestly got to be the worst like yeah. meme to come out of Mark. It's just him with a fucking cowboy hat on at the Derby. Like, 
That uh, wasn't even at the what? derby. It was at us at the mall. That was minimal effort. What do you mean? And the photo was us at the mall. Oh, I thought they used the photo of you at the derby. Didn't they use that fucking little single picture you took in front of the vineyard vines? That was one of their up? posts. One of their oh, posts. Word, but word. the actual uh, token is is the photo of us at the mall. Oh, just word. Yeah. Cropped on me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, word. Anyhow. Um, I digress. That's probably like the worst meme that someone could have done. Okay. Like there's so many better memes of yeah. you no, that 100%. could be done. Listen, it is what it is. Uh, but what a week. What, I mean, Hey, what a week in, in crypto. I mean, just when we think here's, here's the thing that always just makes me laugh about the crypto space is that like a week ago, this time last week, everybody kind of depressed as fuck. You got the people that are like, <laughs> we're going to 52 K where, you know, it might be over, blah, 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 blah. And then roaring kitty puts out a damn video montage and you got every bro in crypto. Wait, 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 he bro. did. He no, put no, out no. that video game fucking where you he put, sit he put up in the, the chair. In. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 That's, that's oh, just a photo. Meme. Just yeah. a photo. That's, that's an all important it took. meme. That's 20 all million impressions, yeah. bro. I was like, okay, we're up. It always makes me laugh because you'll have dudes that'll give women shit for like, oh, you guys are diehard Taylor Swift fans, Swifties, blah, 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 blah. They give them all kinds of shit. And we have a dude named Roaring Kitty who also goes by deep hey. fucking value who puts out one meme of just sitting up and everybody's like, the ball's fucking back. We're back. Like, okay. How much money has Taylor Swift made her fans? Uh, well, it depends if you're buying and selling her tickets, probably a shit ton. How much money has Roaring Kitty made his? Also, if we want to talk about what Taylor Swift has added to the global GDP, uh, crazy. No, we Uh, we don't give a fuck about that. We're talking about money in your pocket, in your bank account. Roy Kitty done a whole lot. He done a whole lot for a whole lot of people, man. You got to put some respect where respect is due. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. I'm just saying it, it is. It if is. Roaring Kitty came up to me right now and was like, "Yo, I need your leg, bro." I would be like, "Fucking take it, man. You're gonna do better than I would." What do you uh, think you would do with your leg? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> you're better than me. He's not taking my leg. I'm mean, like, <laughs> he can take those shoes you got on though. Oh God! Can you lift? Do you have flexibility like that? Can you lift a foot up? No, you got to bring it closer. Bend the knee. What do you mean? I got to bring it closer. Bend oh, we got to get it. Crazy. We got to get it in the, the camera here. Let me. You know what? Let me take a video from my phone. Let me. Uh, We're not lift, taking no videos from your phone. No, lift right. that. Lift that shit up. <laughs> lift that, <laughs> that shit up. Okay, and then give me like pull the leg back a little bit. Pull the pant back a little bit. You got some socks? That is bro's, atrocious. Bro's got some Yeezy thigh highs. This yeah, guy's got... Like, it, it looks like somebody, when they get, you know, they break their arm, they get a cast on. Like, he's got a cast on his damn foot mixed with, like, an Aladdin fucking with slipper. <laughs> I'm not gonna Aladdin lie. is crazy. Is that... Is that no, that's bro. not... Don't make this! Don't make this! This guy's Sonny always trying to make it, everything into just, you know, it's crazy. Everything into what, Mark? <laughs> what am I trying to make it's it into, crazy. Tell me. Got, Tell me what I'm trying to make it <laughs> This guy praying on my downfall. Praying on my downfall, okay? Bro, oh I feel like my if Mark God. ever does get canceled, it's going to be by Sonny. Sonny, yeah. Sure. It really be for the sure. ones you know. You know, it really be the ones you know. <laughs> crazy. Oh my I'm, God. I'm not going to lie, though. It's definitely like... They're comfy as fuck, though, and they're better than your Crocs. Bro, you would have to put, like, a gun to my head to wear that, for <laughs> sure. Like... That is some crazy. I wore these shit. voluntarily. Now, if, Roar, <laughs> no. now if, if Roaring Kitty told you to put them boys on, I'm putting them on with haste. haste He's putting bro. them on his hands. Oh god! Oh, walk with him, bro. All fours. I don't give a shit. All fours. <laughs> oh, boy, bro. oh man. The boy Roaring Kitty gonna get somebody on all fours. Great. Yo, all right, bro. You can have to play like that. Come on, man. Yeah. The glazy. Bro. Listen, nah, I mean, I will, he back. He's back. And like, bro, the energy. Fuck it, Wall Street bets followed me the other day. I was like, "Word, he's screaming Solana Summer." I'm like, "Bro, look, the market, let's fucking get it." The market like, was speed running sentiment wise to fucking zero. Roaring Kitty makes one tweet, and in we're, a week we're, we're back. so fucking back. Like all meme coins are pumping, everything's pumping. Like you got to give him some props, man. Like I'm hyped the motherfuckers back. Our bags no are facts. up. Facts. He's a legend. We just we, we it's so funny though, like the emotional ass space that we live in. That like one day we're back, the next day we're we're poor, the next day we're back, the next day it's over. <laughs> Bro, we just got a bunch of passionate fucking people in this space, and that it's sucks. like they'll still they'll be here when it's down, they'll be here when it's up, and we're fucking here along every single day. Fucking like <laughs> we're going lower, we're going higher, we are so back. 
it's so bad for us. Like, yeah. it's, 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 it's crazy. This space is truly crazy. The last podcast that we actually recorded here because we took a little break uh, from recording here because we had the Kentucky Derby. Then we were in Chicago. We're back here now. But, Truth. But the last name. podcast we recorded here is when we we talked about Mitchie at. Uh, I think like 15 million, 20 Man, million. You keep talking about this. Well, it went up to 250 to- million. Fam, the amount of times I've had to listen to this man mention this fucking token <laughs> on some like, bruh, I could have had this. Bruh, I could have had this, fam. You know Let what you could have had, bro? dog. You could be, it go. You could be borderline billionaire. You know, you put some bread in Mog in the early days. You know what I'm saying? Sub one mil when it was all over the, the timeline. The shilling right now is going to say. Hey, we're shilling me too. You know what I'm saying? I got to do what I got to do, man. This shilling is like, insane on, right now. This guy doing a whole lot for his bag of $1,200. <laughs> <laughs> you doing a whole lot for a bag that you don't even you have. You don't even own it. No, what? no. It's, it's, no, no, no. Because I, because I had. You a, cry yourself to sleep. I had a shit ton of it. <laughs> I bought it at 10 million. Okay. It went to 37 million. And then we had the day where Solana pulled back like super heavy. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I got a clip. I'll buy back in as as it dips. It never dipped. It never dipped. It didn't even it remote it just went straight up to two fifty. And I, I just watched and I would text Sonny. <laughs> it's <laughs> texting me with tears. I'm, just, in his I'm eyes. crying. I'm crying. It, it was terrible. So it was it was an awful, awful experience. This is just a reminder to stop giving a fuck about the profits that you're not going to get you. You took your profits. You got profits. And like now the what if bag. Just, yeah, the what if bag. Just, don't let that just, haunt you. Man. Man. Oh, I know. Just oh, go I know. throw it on no, the I'm, next I'm, bag. I'm, hey, listen. Throw I'm, it on this next I'm happy bag. for them. I'm happy for Fam, them. I can see it in your face. No, man. you're no, not it's happy still for them. eating them. away at your heart. <laughs> listen, listen. I doubled down on Harambe. Harambe is up Agreed. massive. Thank oh, you. Thank you. R.I.P. We love them. R.I.P. Harambe. Um, that kid was a prick. You know, um, you know, Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon so- Musk has one song on SoundCloud, and it's R.I.P. Harambe. Wait, Elon Musk has a legitimate song on Spotify. On SoundCloud. Oh, on SoundCloud. <laughs> R.I.P. Harambe, bro. It's crazy. We here for people it. should talk about hey, that. Take Harambe to three hundred mil. Hey, but Please. isn't it wild that whole Roaring Kitty? Like he com- he comes back, and then the fucking stocks pump again, and yeah. like now we got our fucking Web two VC friends fucked again didn't like they, they're 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 tripping didn't they liquidate like five billion yes. in shorts so or like, like crazy like, amount bro crazy amount. and they're so mad they're like they're so so upset about it and fucking like i got i like legitimately him coming back i got reminded again why like i'm all in on crypto because when they fucking halted the trades again Mm-hmm. I will never forget, man. Fucking like, what was man. it like, twenty twenty, some shit like that. I had put an options call on AMC, and that shit would have cashed, and they canceled my shit. You did that on Robinhood. Yep. Yep. Oh, well, that they, was your first. And mistake. they canceled my shit. <laughs> canceled. Everything. I mean, yeah, but at that time, Robinhood was still somewhat for the people, Facts. right? Until that whole GameStop AMC shit happened, and then it was like, yeah, we we really not for you like that. Yeah, we don't really like we're gonna halt doing. your trades. We're gonna fucking like cancel your shit, and like a lot of people could have cashed out way more if they didn't fu- like they fucked a lot of people too on the way down, and like. That whole, I feel like that whole situation, obviously the movie came out, like I had watched it recently and everything like that, but man, that shit just reminded me of like why we're in crypto in the first place. Cause like, yeah, the network might go down or, or some things might happen technology wise, but nobody is going to control what trades you're going to do. They're not going to be like, Hey, you can't actually go fucking spend this much on Michi cause it's going up right now and it's going up too fast. So like, I mean, hold on, Mark, you're, you're, we're going to go and halt you to the side now. Like. They're not doing that shit. I mean, it's good and bad, bro, because, you know, uh, there's like no there's no way to like gatekeep certain fucking coins like it. There are those people who are throwing like fucking five racks into 4K market cap pump fund coins. Like, you know, if if I was on Robin Hood, that wouldn't even be available to see. You feel me? Get a quick little rug in my life. You but, know to, what I'm like? but you need you need to have the ability to choose what you do with your own money. And I yeah. don't believe that. And that's 100%. a choice, right? The person that's putting 5K on that 4K market cap, they're probably on some like, yo, if this shit goes stupid, if like I'm going to be up crazy or whatever. Right. Facts. And like, yeah, a lot of times that doesn't happen. But that was at the end of the day, a choice that that person made versus Facts. like I didn't choose to get my shit halted on an options. I wanted to buy that shit 100%. and y'all chose for me. 
That's yeah. where I'm like, fuck all that. This is this is the part. So I wanted to read this tweet because I think there's a lot of like normie people who don't really understand, obviously, who Roaring Kitty is, why people are so, I guess, interested in what he's talking about and right. all of that. To to sum it up, obviously, he took GameStop stock, started talking about how there was an opportunity for it to be short squeezed back in 2020. In 2021, it actually happened. He turned fifty thousand dollars into fifty million dollars, right? And so yesterday, yesterday, and this is why people, this is why you got to understand why people are so passionate about this subject. Yesterday, the former SEC chair said that Roaring Kitty manipulated GameStop stock by, by tweeting memes. So literally they said yesterday that he manipulated GameStop shares just literally by tweeting memes, right? Yet today, Senator Tommy Tuberville is trading options on companies that he legislates and Nancy Pelosi's portfolio just hit all time high. And there's not, there hasn't been a single thing said by that same individual, right? And that's the part that our people are pissed off about. Facts. And I think that's the part that like we have to drive home is at the end of the day, do any of us really give a fuck about GameStop? No, we don't. It's not about Wait. that. We don't. That's we, my childhood, dog. Yeah, it, it is your childhood. About, it's but nostalgic. It, it is nostalgic. Bro, okay? that's, that's the place I go to trade in like $500 worth of games for $5. Yeah, I was going to say. I was, I was like, a, I'm still I a little my salty. Play- my game only got me $1.50. I bought that, my PlayStation you know? 2 there. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> But with that, with that, it's like, again, it's the whole thing about now all of a sudden the individual, the retail, the retail investor actually has power we're not used to that that's never been the case when you think about like you know i think about how stocks were back and like and i read about it because obviously i'm too young to really remember back when you actually got a a a paper (laughs) like that said you own this share of stock yeah we're not that old that's that we we are that old to remember like that was in our life to remember but i'm saying like yeah yeah Yeah, we didn't we didn't do that. So then you get to the point where you can actually like buy shares of stock online. You can buy portions of a share of stock, everything like that. You get to that point. And again, even when that happened, it's like you still have individuals just doing whatever the hell they want. And like there's really no cohesion. There's no like people working together. There's no community aspect. Now all of a sudden you got the internet and the internet brings everybody together. And now all of a sudden you got these groups of people. You have Wall Street bets on Reddit. You have all these, you know, people that can chat about things, talk about their thesis on things. And people can say, hey, you know what? We're all going to team up. We're going to do the same thing together. And that's terrifying. That's terrifying to a lot of people, whether Republican, Democrat, does not fucking matter. All of them hate that shit. Because, again, the retail investor has never had power. And you know what we got now? We got power. And it's that whole expression. Like, um, what, it's something along the lines of, like, you know, what happens when the rabbit's got the gun? Like, rabbit's got the fucking gun now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it literally is like it's not as fun for them, right? Because it's like more of us get to play the game now and like more of us get to control like what that looks like, right? Like he's talking about manipulating the stock where it's like, okay, like Pelosi, fucking great example, right? How much information have you had prior to any of us knowing about shit to invest into a stock? And like when you're investing in stocks, you're you're doing your like research you're looking at articles you're trying to see what catalysts are going to be for the company fam by the time you find out what the catalyst for that company is there's people that already knew about that catalyst four weeks ago five weeks ago six weeks ago and got it at a completely different price and like in crypto this shit is live happening in front of you day by day if you are on crypto twitter like that's where you're getting your fucking news from that's where you're getting your information from that's where you're finding out what's happening with coins what's happening with tokens protocols from the people that are building legitimate shit to fucking stanley cup coin tweeting another video out and people just being like yo this shit is so fire like it's it's all happening right in front of your face and like yeah there's still a little bit of that like inside of shit certain people might like market make and and that sort of thing but it's not fucking as it's not as nuts as like the stocks game was and that shit scares them like which is why i think it's so wild that like the sec will step in and be like oh roaring kitty's manipulating when bro hasn't said anything about like gme none of that he literally just been posting some goofy ass videos that seemingly have no correlation together, and they're like he's manipulating the stock market. I mean, he's kind of terrified of because the boy. I mean, like if you're, could you imagine right now, currently as we speak, there is a U.S. senator that's watching Roaring Kitty's tw- uh, Twitter videos, shaking in his boots, and he's trying to figure timbers. out what in the fuck any of this means. And listen, we're part of the internet culture. We still don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Nobody really knows <laughs> what the fuck. Like everybody's kind of waiting for like what is going to be the thing that he actually comes out and says. Is he going to do a live stream? Is he going to do whatever? Nobody really knows. What, but. what do you guys think? Because, like, 
there's rumors he's like, oh, this is definitely like prep for a presale link. Well, I don't think he does now a presale. At, nah. Now at this point, no, because it, nah. it's there was part of me that wondered when he first started tweeting, like, did he get his account hacked? But at this point, he would have come out and said his account got hacked. Like, so right. that that part's dead, and there's no way he would ever do something as dumb as dropping a presale link. But like, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if he comes out and says like. Hey, there's a certain stock that none of us are talking about right now. That is the one that he's targeting for this next, you know, whatever. The only thing that's different is, and and I again, I don't know what it was like completely at the beginning of when he first started talking about GameStop. Obviously, he didn't have the audience that he does now. So like, there was a long period of time. That run up was a long time. Like it was something where he was talking about it for a while, and then finally it started to catch on and Reddit, and then all of a sudden it started to hit the mainstream news. Right. So. Now it's like if he talks about anything, that stock is going to 10x like literally the next day. Like, so that's crazy power. And yeah. I mean, I don't know how he's going to do it because, yeah, you, you do run the risk of like, I don't know what laws that might potentially break, but like they will find one. And so he has to be very careful, but also at the same time. He's roaring fucking kitty. I feel like he's got a mean. I like the stock. He's got like better call Saul type dude. I'm telling you, he's got a crazy lawyer for sure. <laughs> he's got to. You got to have at, multiple crazy at this lawyers. Point, yeah, I I do feel that there's probably um I do feel like there's probably some gearing up into crypto though, like his like entrance into crypto and just like potentially tapping into the energy and attention that we have on this side and like even being a catalyst of merging the two, like he's the perfect person for it, I think. Um, and I could see that happening. I would love that. I don't think it's, I don't think that's the case. I don't, think, I don't, yeah. I, one time, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a thing of like, Oh, we see this like in the next month or two months. I think it's a thing of like, he's back now. I think we're probably going to start seeing content again in some sort of way. And I do think there, there's a point in that journey of like him doing content again doing live stream and talking about things that eventually like the crypto market is going to spill over into what he's looking at like i just it's it's so much greater now than it was when he was first doing that gamestop shit that i'm like there's just no way that you don't come over to this side and use the same like the same skill set that you have and that you don't also believe in crypto based off of the fact of how hard you went for retail investors i just i i don't know maybe it's fucking like optimism on my end but that's that's what i feel i mean hey i would love that i would love if he literally just said oh i don't even need him to show a ticker if he just goes so like i love crypto just like solana. would be I, just even that Fuck i'll start that. i'll start just bare bones solana well i mean would love obviously all he has to tweet is solana period solana <laughs> period please. i'm gonna be honest if, if he tweeted that i would not yeah, <laughs> I know, mean, on the spot. Yeah, bro, like, on the spot. Yeah. No, don't act like you Pause. wouldn't too. Bro. I'm not gonna nut. Oh, you yes, would not. You would, bro. You would not. Everybody I'm gonna, in crypto is like, creaming their pants on the spot. Yeah, bro. we would collectively real. all nut on this couch right now. <laughs> Pause. Wait, how would it get on the? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go further into how that would play out. Yeah, We're gonna stop. Yeah, We're gonna stop. Let's not triple down. Yeah, yeah. Mark, no. Mark can go. Yeah, let's not even. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. So OG. So you're in LA. What's uh what's good? What's the game plan for okay, actually, you know what? I want you to sum this up because we, we we don't have time for a 45 minute story. But right. I need I need the quick when did OG get into crypto, all of this, everything like that, and then like now that you're in this position where you're creating content, people love you, all that kind of stuff, perfect world a year from now, like what do you want to be doing? All right, so like how I got into crypto, I'll speed run it. Uh, I had Bitcoin in some wallet for some reason. Uh, I left it alone for like two years. And then like, I was like, huh, like Bit I'm seeing Bitcoin all over the place. I was like, yo, what's that about? L open this wallet. And it's like 10x what I bought two years ago. I was like, oh shit. I was like, I gotta get into this. Fast forward, I'm in the meme coin trenches, you know, 2021. Uh, buy some Dogelon, like five racks worth. Lose 100 bands. Uh, Cause it went to a hundred bands. Then Vitalik, wait, you went up to a hundred grand in Doge. Yeah. Uh, no, Dogelon, Dogelon Mars, and then like wait, Dogelon Mars. What yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah. I don't uh, even know. OG was really in the trenches. I was really in the trenches. Went to a hundred bands, and then Vitalik dumped. Cause you know Vitalik got like fifty percent of the supply for a lot of tokens back then. Yeah, yeah. People Vitalik, just airdrop it to him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He just dumped, and my shit went to straight to a thousand dollars. I was like. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Great, bro. So you learned the lesson of taking profits. Yeah, I learned that lesson real quick. I was like, if I did it once, did it, I can do it again. So then I started getting deep into crypto, started making videos, etc. cetera. Uh, I mean, like D Hotel last year, that's when I really started making videos. You know, fast forward, here we are now. I think like the goal, the goal now is to just like 
become a mainstay in the crypto content area uh maybe like get better with vlogs because i got like a specific type of vlog i want to do get better with like content in general but ideally you know a year from now uh i'm on par uh or like cooking up in the same way probably nothing team is i think that'd be fucking sick because they're like absolutely killing it right now but uh, i mean i don't really have like an overarching goal because like shit is so like everything is changing every fucking two minutes in crypto so like every every week your goal is going to change like what you actually want to accomplish so i'm just living it by like month by month what i want to complete each month that's at least fair. for now gotta stay fluid honestly. gotta stay fluid because i'm i would be damned if i said like a, a super hard goal and then i'm like oh, I, I don't i can't pivot from this you got to pivot so much in this industry that's fair that's fair all right i got a question for you og go for it so i feel like when i when i think about the the gen zers okay when i think about the zoomers okay when i think about <laughs> oh, here we go the zoomers with this the riz okay no 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 with the riz I think about with the Riz. I think about you and Thread guy. Okay, I think okay. about you two. You two got the Riz. Okay, but I need to know. You sound who, like such a dad right okay. now. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> kids, listen. Who has so? Okay, here's my real question. Who has the most Riz? You or Thread guy? Me or Thread guy? Damn. I need an honest answer. Okay, honest answer. You know, I haven't seen Thread guy's Riz in person. Uh, we've all seen it, you know, digitally with Mika. But like, damn, sure. You, you know. I, <laughs> I mean, like, we all saw the podcast. We all saw the podcast. They, oh, yeah. You know, so I'm like, I mean, if that's the extent of your riz, bro, I got you oh. beat by oh, hey, yo! I got you beat, bro. <laughs> I got, oh, hey, bro. yo. I got a little bit of riz. He said me, if you know that's the extent of your riz. <laughs> you know yo, OG just fuck. OG yo. said Thread Guy's riz is the Darko Milicic of riz. Hey, I don't know. Let me, let, me, let me look at the camera for this. Yo, TG, bro, let's be real, man. I got way more riz he than you, He said let's be let's real. Be real. That's be crazy. Real. Yo, TG, you might have to drop a diss track. Yeah. That's yo, TG does hey, not no. want these bars, bro. He honestly, want this honestly he might have to go a step further. Bro. He might have to pull a Drake security guard and shoot his <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hey, yo, just notice, you know, TG, if you drop a diss track, you do not want that smoke. Oh, <laughs> you do damn. not want that smoke. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be Kendrick v. Drake, and you don't oh. want that. <laughs> Fuck. That's tough. OG going to talk about your 11-year-old threat. <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> that you had it. I know you're hiding. I know you're hiding it. Come on. Bro, he said if that's the extent of your riz, I can't get over that. That's, 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 come on, man. that's tragic. Well, I don't want to say too much about too much, but a few people see my riz in person. You know, it's... It's out there, you feel me? It's up there. It's up he there. He said you don't got a deep bag. That's <laughs> Damn, that's man. wow. Wow. That went a different direction Fuck. than I thought. Yeah, that's tough. I think that hurts that's your option tough. to get into probably nothing. I think that definitely oh, <laughs> Yo, TG, don't take it yeah. personal, man. You I'm know a, what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it honest. I think man. the chances of you get in, getting into probably nothing is probably nothing. I mean I don't, <laughs> after that, bro, yeah, just that, copy me off. Like, yeah, you go you're yeah. gonna have to go start your own shit now. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Wow. Yo, yo, TG, I think like I think the best way to settle this, you know, we we have like a Riz Olympics, you know what a I'm Riz saying? A Riz Olympics. A Riz Olympics, bro. Set up a few challenges and we'll go, we'll go handle them. See, see who comes out on top. Okay, okay. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Please, Come on, please, man. That's good please get this on video. Yeah, please. Bro. Whatever this Riz challenge is, like, get this shit on video. That'll we, be good content. That. That'll be good content. That's oh, crazy. Okay, wait. Okay. One more question wow. for you, OG. I need to know when. Okay, so when you guys go out to New York and you guys do do the marshmallow video, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the so. Obviously, that video takes the internet by storm. Yeah. And you've got Soul Jakey's tagged a trillion times. Frank's tagged a trillion times. Obviously, Marshmallow's tagged a trillion times. You didn't really. I didn't really. You didn't really tag, get the. Bro. You know. Really you didn't really see, get the tags and whatnot. Were, were you kind of salty that at the end of the day you were the most not talked not about not. aspect of it, but they didn't know it was you? Look, this is what happened. This is what happened. So, like, initially. Are you snitching right now? No, 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 no. Come on, <laughs> allegedly, 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 this is all allegedly, allegedly. So, allegedly. Like, so like initially, uh, when like Jakey hit me up, he was like, "Yo, we need a marshmallow." I was like, "I was like Betsky." I was like, "I will do that with haste." And then like you know, we set it all up throughout the day, whatever. It comes down to it, and I was like, you know, like what I want to do is uh, take off the marshmallow helmet like right before we cut this, and then I like reveal it was me. He was like, "Okay, sick, yeah, we'll do that." But it got so hectic so fast. Like as soon as we started, we're not even like two minutes into the set police officers are pulling up right next to us and i'm like i'm like oh shit so yo keep in mind all right so like little tldr about me i got like one good eye like i got a sharing guy on my right eye my left eye is kind of iffy but like 
So when I put the hoodie on and the marshmallow mask on, covered my right eye so I can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> I'm just in this motherfucker like, yeah, like turning up. And then like all of a sudden, like Frank's in my ear like, yo, the police are trying to get us out of here. I was like, I was like, oh shit. I was like, okay. So he probably said it just like yeah, that too. Yeah. So like, so the police are like, they're like, you need to get down now. I was like, oh shit. Right. So like I get down and then like Jakey goes over there to handle the police. And I was like, I don't know if I want to reveal this because, like, this is the moment, too. I get down. As soon as I get off the truck, like, 80 people will rush me. They're like, Marshmallow, Marshmallow, please, 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 please. Like, you know, they're, they're coming to take flicks with me. Frank's right there like, oh, what the fuck is going on right now? Bro, I'm telling you, I got, like, uh, I got, like, toddlers pulling up for pics. I got moms. I got random women. Like, everybody's pulling up. Like, let me get a pic with you. I was like, okay, sick. And then, like, right before I'm, like, about to take the helmet off, uh, the, the officer comes back. He's like, Hey, marshmallow head, get the fuck in the car. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Oh shit. I was like, okay, shit. And then, so you a, know, I'm not even mad. I didn't take it off. Cause we got that super iconic picture of Frank looking out the window say, yeah. Yeah. and I'm in that shit. Like, Hey, yeah. bro. That's you're fact. in that shit, but you're not in that they, shit, but yeah, you're in nobody that shit. Knows, bro. <laughs> and like, it was kind of gate kept, you know, cause legal obligation no legal shit allegations and shit yo cut cut this up but like yeah it was like comp complicated for certain reasons but uh you know i didn't want to reveal it was me anyway for for a bit okay. and then uh i was like i was like damn bro frank and jakey getting getting blown up tagged everywhere i was like I mean, I, I respect Jakey and Frank. They both tag me every single time they posted anything. But I know everybody else was like, I don't know who the fuck that guy <laughs> is. It was funny, though, because like in New York, uh, I think that like right after that happened, I went to Fast Eddie's like birthday party and I'm wearing the sweater still. They're like, oh, oh, my fucking God. Is that is that you? I was like, I was like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Just a little marshmallow <laughs> in the building. This guy. And, this and, is... and what what is insane is uh, people are like. Oh, you know, you like you pre-planned putting on the Mog sweater to pump Mog. And I was like, bro, this could not have been less planned. I was like, I'm cold. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm low key cold. I was like, okay, sick. I got the sweater. I'm going to just put this it's on. It's also just a fire sweater. Yeah, and, bro. It's, and it's two emojis. Bro, it's like, literally two emojis. It's bro. literally two emojis. So like, if you, if you're like, like, I get what the emojis are like correlated to but only crypto native but, people know yeah this anyway. exactly like, like, like and it's just like I, I was looking at it and i'm like man you got three people who talk about solana all day every day like if they were truly just trying to pump a ticker like they would have mentioned something solana related like oh, mog is great mog is great don't get me wrong but like you got three diehard solana people like i mean come on i'm not i'm not gonna lie i was low-key thinking like like what what should i put on but then i was just like oh bro like I, I was hanging out with the mog boys the whole week i was like fuck let me put their sweater yeah. on bro shit let's get makes, lit makes perfect motion. sense a little, little motion I mean, and, the, motion. And, the, and, the, and the sweater's fire the sweater's fire yo so. mark mark what you know about motion man mark don't know shit about this that, that's, that's not even an m like come on, come on get right with us what do you mean i mean technically that's an no you really a dad okay all right listen you know what i want to know what oh i thought you were looking at me real quick no can't tell no. her where your eyes are looking with your no. damn sunglasses. You know, this, this is the bad. problem with sunny sunglasses. <laughs> when we were, Here we, go. we were at the airport Dad in Kentucky. Mode. We're at the airport in Kentucky. I go Dad get our, mode. I go get our, uh, you know, our bags, right? right? Our bag claim, our tickets or whatever that we got to put on the fucking whatever luggage. Okay. And <laughs> so I, I take the bag tags to Sonny and I thought he's looking at me. And so I'm like, take him. And he's got his headphones in so he can't hear me. So I'm like, Hey, and he's just looking at me and I'm like, motherfucker. So I, I just throw him at his face. And then he like looks up and I'm like, I thought you were looking at me the entire damn time. It's the problem with the sunglasses. I can't tell where the man's eyes are looking. So I just thought he was looking at me here and he's talking to you. I, you know, it's really fucking me up. Yeah. I mean, mode. that's how it is, man. That's how it is. You like know? it's low key the hack though. Like at events, I always, I used, I always have the sunglasses on, man. I lost, yo, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if Shiv knows this yet, but this is news. Yo, Shiv, I lost your I lost your sunglasses when Damn. I was in the Lambo. They flew off my head, bro. Oh, you'll never the see them again. Casual flex. You'll Damn. never see them again. He said, my bad, dog. Bro. I was in the lamb. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Lamb, I, was, I was whipping the lamb, whipping and they just happened shoot. to whip like, off bro. the face you know it's my bad it, it happens no, you know I'm when sorry, you're living man. this og life like, yeah yeah you. og no. last question for you though no, about the about, no, wait, 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 got a question. okay okay fine you all right you ask your question you ask your question i'll ask mine okay okay um two-part question now that fucking fuck it just just to just to spite mark even more okay two-part question why don't you throw in a third part make it a trilogy i will how about that uh 
when when and i guess like when did you know that video content was going to be really important for you and like how important has it actually been in like growing your account from where wherever it's come and um second part would be obviously you got nominated for the whole youths thing you got a pfp now you're rocking the youths pfp so just like tell me a little bit about that experience and like why you wanted to rep that community all right so first uh i would definitely say well i always wanted to be a creator uh for like the longest times i was like 16 i was like i want to make videos that looks fun and uh, i never really did it because like i always had a girlfriend that was like i was like I don't want your face on the internet. These these hoes are gonna want you. I was oh, like, man. I was like, oh, especially with but, especially with the Riz he's got. You know, you, know, you got to factor that Riz, in. Bro, you got to factor like, in the Riz. The two factors is crazy, but like, you it's know, a tough life. It's yeah, a tough life, life OG. Tough I, life feel I feel you. But like, you. I was like, fuck it. Like, once New York happened, I was like, you know, it's gonna be a first time being like undocked. As soon as I got to New York, I posted a video. That was the first time, DNYC. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was when I undocked. Swear, a hundred. You're talking 2022 though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or 2023. 2023. Yeah, yeah. bro, at the hotel for the yeah. scavenger hunt. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know that was the first time you undocked. I just remember, I think that was the first time we met. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we were fucking competing for the scavenger hunt. That shit was crazy. Bro, that shit was crazy. Yo, shout out that scavenger hunt. I got an Apple pencil. But I switched it for a camera. So it low-key started my content career. Hey. Which is which is kind of crazy. But uh no, I mean like video content has been like literally everything. Like I always thought of like how I could like up my game from like what I did previous. And I feel like, yo, VCon was when I really was like, hold up, let me dial the fuck in. Cause like I was just like all over the place. This is when I was like, there's so many people in this room that everybody wants to hear them talk about certain subjects or whatever they're pros at. And nobody's fucking talking to him about it. I was like, all right, let me just be, do like speed interviews with everybody. So then I ran that. Obviously, you know, the muted mic on Gary V. That's a classic. That's a hit. But uh, got the got the follow up interview, whatever. But like, I think video content has just kind of been like super crucial in like establishing not even like my account, but like my brand as my account. Because like, there's also like so many different niches in crypto Twitter, like people who uh people who write threads people who you know are deep in the trenches and like are very vocal about their tickers like things of that nature founders whatever and i was like there's just like five content creators and there's like five content creators that are like really cooking so i'm like i mean that's like the lowest barrier of entry i was like fuck yeah i think i just need to send it on content as hard as i can so that's what i've been doing that's kind of where i'm at with it i'm gonna start I'm going to start changing how my account functions because, you know, low key motherfuckers only want me for the videos or the flicks, bro. So, like, you're just going to get videos or flicks from this point forward. Fuck it. Hell yeah. But as far as the youth's nomination thing, you know, Pasta and me go way back. I've been boys with Pasta. That's how I got to DNYC because I stayed in his room. But, uh, yeah, I've been boys with Pasta for a minute and he was talking to me about it, saying, like, they might be they might be doing this youth's creator thing. And I was like, yeah, I'd fucking love to do that like because i was in the market for a new pfp and i was like bro youths are kind of the perfect one obviously i could go the d god route but i feel like youths are like the creator part of the d labs ecosystem so i was like i feel like i, I could represent that better and you know i got the money bands come on i mean like i got i got the youth banks was like i need that i was like nah <laughs> like I, ne I need this motherfucker so uh, i mean I, I feel like that whole process was honestly an, an insane thing to be a part of because like uh you were uh, the first nomination right like you were the first one or nah, no lyrics lyrics was oh, first okay. and then i got the second one Word. but i was the first like nomination from like example from like the youth's account whatever yeah, yeah. but uh no nah, that was a crazy experience shout out pasta i'm I mean, I'm not good. I don't want it anymore, but bro, you were supposed to give me the youths badge. Like what the fuck happened to that, man? Like we, we were supposed to get that. <laughs> Calling like, him out. That was like one of the first things he was like, yeah, we're going to get you the youths badge. I'm like, yo, where's that at pasta? What the fuck? But I mean like, yeah, that's how it went. It was pretty slick. Definitely. Definitely go see me with the youths PFP for a hot minute. People are like, like Sonny, for example, he's like, when are we going to get you with a D God? I'm like, bro, will they even let me change my PFP? Like they look, he gave me this you. What if I'm like, I want to change it. They're like, bro. What the fuck you talking about right now? Like you are not changing this. But I, but I think, I'd be trying to pill everybody on D guys. Yeah, right? but the, but the reality like, of it is, I feel like the money band fits you so perfectly. And does. I do think when it comes to like your PFP, 
like you can still hold D gods and oh, not 100%. necessarily change your PFP. And yeah, like, bro, the use is me. It, like like if, if, if it, it fits, you know, it's the same thing with like my D god at this point. It's like, yo, that represents me. It's just no matter what happens to it, no matter what, no matter what they change the art to, it doesn't matter. Like my PFP is staying my PFP because that's been me now for two years and yeah. it's not changing almost three, you know? So it's like, it's just not changing. And so with that, I mean, same thing. It's like you build up your brand around the content and everything with the money bands and everything. It's like, it fits you. Keep it going. Keep it going. You can yeah, still rock right. the D. You can still have and, the D. God talk yeah, about yeah. the Honestly, D. God, it's, but it's, you know, I think, um, I think uh, we may have had this conversation. Or I was having this conversation with a couple other people as well in terms of just like where D Labs is just as a whole, right? Yeah. And it's like you have D Gods, um, you have people that are like established and OG and D Gods, whatever, and we have our content creators. But on the youth side of things, there's also um, a really like opportune time right now to align yourself specifically with the youth brand in the sense of like they're kind of like on a comeback journey arc a little bit of just like you know people are like oh what have they done what's this what's that what's going on and to have people like you that are creators that are actually like representing in a way that goes beyond just like a couple tweets or like anything like that Amen. but actually like creating video content and, and and being a person that's like that goes even beyond the youth community, right? Because there's there's an aspect of like be just being a creator within this space, yeah. right? And then it's what PFP do you rock? Facts. Um and I think that goes that goes a long way for sure. You know, uh you might you might regret the fact that I'm a youth because when I take youths to pass D gods, I don't want to hear nothing. Bro. Okay. Like, now we're, you, we're that, gonna this, we're this gonna is, beat y'all floor price. This is, this is this is when I need the zoomers and the Gen Zers easy. to relax. Nah, I know bro, I know you was going on, at TG for the Riz come and all on, that man, shit. On, but when it comes we to D gods, D gods down, when it comes bro. to D gods, nah, this shit, like, bro, it's not happening, dog. Look, bro. It's, it's not I and like I respect the hustle, I do. But like hey, man. I'm not TG either. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, you gonna respect the hustle a little bit too much when I take it, bro. I'm telling you. It's not happening. Hey, listen, bro. I got let's more see. I got more youths than D God, so uh, I don't hate that. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I got Mark as my official backer, bro. Hey, well that's Mark, yeah. Mark, 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 Mark. Okay, your mouth's OG. Yeah. Uh, you ever say that shit again? <laughs> It's a wrap for you, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You better, you better stay in your D God's maxi zone. Hey. Okay. And you better fucking relax. Yo, Mark, you said this is gonna be like Utes Weekly now, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah like, we're yo, changing the name. Trash. <laughs> yeah, and you're out, and OG's in. Let's go. Yeah. 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 All right, bet. Oh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna take what I brought with me. This guy, <laughs> this guy, Sonny, always says he's gonna drop a diss track on me. Where's it at? Where is that? It's hey, coming. we'll make it today. Don't trip it. No. Nope. You want me to go record it tonight? No. Oh, I'll go record it tonight. Listen, Yo, Mark, you got somewhere you've to been be saying, at ATM, You've been bro. saying that you're going to do Pilates against me for however long. you still duck in the smoke. you duck in the smoke Damn. on the court. You don't want this 1v1 for three soul when you're not going to score a bucket on me. Like You don't want any of this smoke this way. <laughs> That's crazy. And OG doesn't want this smoke hey, either hey, with I'll the take, Utes. Hey, you don't want the You're not, you're you don't not want the flipping D-Gods. Hey, Y'all not flipping D-Gods. Like, hey, just, just understand what it is. We can start a diss track Every Every time. Every time y'all rise in floor prize, D Gods is gonna rise with it. Just know hey, that. We'll Let's see, bro. We'll see, bro. We gonna be the that. first. We gonna be the first sub collection to flip the parent collection. That's the goal. It's hey, you know what? Hey, listen. Take both of them to a trillion dollars. How about that? Yeah, but, right. hey, we can do that. We can do that. But I, I will say this, Sonny. When it comes to the Pilates, is that we we got to get this going. It's going to be, you know, we can call it whatever You've been we saying that. I know. I know. Because there's part of me that, like, I don't want to see... As much as we, you know, we go back and forth, right? We talk a lot of shit to each other Bam, and everything. I like that. am here for all the smoke. I don't <laughs> want this. I don't want to see because that sounds like you're ducking the smoke. No, I don't want to see. It sounds like you're ducking the listen, smoke. Listen, listen, listen. When you when you got your boys, you talk shit to your boys, right? Right. I don't want to see Sonny die. Okay, I don't want to see that crazy. happen. But I would listen, never take that. There's a solid chance the man. I, I can look out for myself. There's a solid chance my I, man's knees it's give a, it's out. A, it's not like you can ever sign a liability waiver for me, anyways, right? So why are you doing it in your head? <laughs> Damn. Listen, I just. Want, you know? I mean, it's like, and then I got to put out the video of Sonny just like tragically Crushing like you? tearing his ACL, Crushing MCL, you? PCL, <laughs> and all the cells. You know, I mean all. Like he's gonna, he, I mean, you're gonna tear you're gonna everything, be so mad when brother. I'm you can't do it. You you're gonna be so mad. It. We're not taking a beginner class. You're gonna be so mad. <sighs> the only thing you have on me is the fact that you're shorter. 
which is well, why and, is that like a plus? And I work out because every, because Pilates is all about like low, fucking, low center of gravity, yeah, low it center helps, of gravity, yeah, yeah. and this man has mad low center of okay, gravity. Okay. Yeah. Mad, <laughs> mad low crazy. center of That's gravity. That's crazy. This, so you know you got an advantage. You Wait, know, why are you ducking the hoops though? It's not ducking the hoops. We got to do it. You haven't put a basketball run in L.A. in a minute. Damn. That's bro. on you. Whenever you want to say, hey, That's we'll on go you. do the 1v1. No, set up I'm the run. the gym just for us. No, we're not doing just us. We got yeah, to have some spectators. Shit. We'll live stream it. Okay. I'll take the Mark Coaster 1v1 for three so. Okay. So that, that, I'll like, take I'm, that. I'm no, our, like, our, bet, our bet is that he won't score a single bucket on me. Really? Not a single bucket. I would never take that, Mark. That's a not dis- a single that's bet. Disrespectful. Not a single bucket. I'm not gonna lie. In but the he paint, won't. But in the he paint, won't. You're cooked. He won't bet three soul on that though. We haven't had the opportunity. But say you'll bet three soul on I it. Need, right here. I need. What are we playing up to? What do you want to play up to? No, no, no. You're betting three soul on the fact that you won't score a bucket. Yeah. No, no, no. But but okay. But it depends what we're playing up to. We're playing up to five. Like I mean, then, you know, seven that, or eleven. Pick one. Well, I mean, obviously, ones and twos. Uh, Obviously, you go 11, okay. but are we, 11, we're, ones and two, we're not doing, score we're not bucket. doing make it, take it. Yeah, we are. No, because, that, okay, then you're not starting with the ball. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like where his okay. head's at. You uh, start with the ball. It's make it, take it, because that's one we've won. Two eleven. No, it's make it, take it. But are we talking, are you just literally just going to go and take it to the paint? Because, yes, you've got weight on me. Like, you got height on me. I get that. Fam. So, but if, if, but if that's all do, you're doing. All you have to do is score one bucket right. and you're starting but, with the ball. But are you talking, you're literally just going to back me into the paint every time? No, I'm definitely shooting threes on you, too. Oh, okay. All yeah, right, then I'll take this bet. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bet. It's yeah, you're locked here to hear first. Deal. You heard it here first. All right, all right. Say bet. locked. Say locked. Locked. Three souls. Yeah. Deal. 3.33 for the culture. No, no, no. Three. Okay, sure. Yeah, for the culture. Sure. Um, but we play Damn. to eleven, and this I start with the, the ball. Easiest three point three three soul I ever. That's make. crazy. That's crazy. I ever make. This guy's sunny. So yo, let me let me pull up. I want the I want the one v one with Mark for three soul too. Let's do it. <laughs> that's too light. <laughs> that that's I mean that that's this is crazy. light work over here, bro. That's crazy. This is light work over that's here. Crazy. This would be an insane match. <laughs> Young honestly. Buck thinks he can just on, out bro. here, just just you know. The man makes one comment about TG, <laughs> and now all of a sudden he thinks he can talk <laughs> this Come shit. Come on, man. I'm gonna humble this motherfucker. He thought he took TG's hoop skills too. That's crazy. That's hey, crazy. Hey, I got a little hoop in me. You feel me? Okay. This guy's got. I got much, enough for you, Mark. That's this, all I got. This guy say. got as much hoop as a Fisher Price. I mean, like, get <laughs> fuck out of here. Nuts, nuts. Anywho, what else did it happen this week? I don't know. Bro, um, our boy Malcolm. Um, yeah. Our Malcolm. boy Malcolm. Malcolm. Yo, he really put on for crypto. Bro, he put on. Road, he, D God saved the nation. D-God he really did. He really did. You know what I mean? Like. I, it was it was that's it was, utility. It was wild to see that video. It was wild to see uh he, you know, he pulls up, he's got the mall glasses face on. too after when oh, he turned yeah. around the meme. He like, just got you incredible. know incredible. So excited. Looking like a man seeing his first teddy in his life. It was <laughs> it was incredible. It was incredible. It's about time y'all know who fucking Malcolm Mac D Gods is, honestly. That's bro facts. bro has facts. been a silent killer for fucking months now. No, nah, Malcolm months. is Malcolm like, is a demon. Bro. He's him. He he's him. Is. That and was so, that was that was such a fire moment just to see him fucking yeah what a time it yeah, was, the fact he was telling Trump correct he's like correct correct <laughs> that <laughs> was that was the that might have been the best part yeah. he's, he's just like you say correct to the former president like that's hey. nuts that's nuts former and maybe uh, hey, uh, 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 yeah. I don't know but hey pro crypto. Hey, pro hey, crypto. Maintain crypto, it. Maintain it. That's my only donations. thing. I want to see. Here's my thing about politicians. I hate them all. Okay, I'm gonna clarify. Obviously. I hate them all. Um, and the amount of times a politician says something, uh, something about anything, and then by the time they actually end up in office, they completely don't do whatever they said they were gonna do. What I want is whoever wins this damn election in November. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't really like. I don't want to say I don't care because I do care. It matters and those decisions that matter. But what I want to see is. Just stay. Just do what you said you were gonna do. Like if you're saying that you're actually gonna make it where it's pro crypto, we're we're more you know inviting to the culture, everything like that. We're not gonna just you know keep stomping on everything crypto related and all of that. Like we're gonna maybe tell the SEC to fuck right off. Like maybe we're gonna <laughs> tell Gary Gensler to you know pack his bags. Like I want to see that. Like don't tell me you're pro crypto and then keep Gary Gensler in office. Like that's. I mean I don't think I like. I think at least the one thing about him right is just like he's on some like I don't give a fuck shit sometimes and so like he'll i think let's see it yeah let's, let's see yeah, yeah, yeah. it let's that, see it. like i like it, if i would bet on anybody to be on some like fuck shit and like we're like flipping this shit up around and everything it's him because it's like he's also about his money so it's like oh more money 
Let's more see money it. in circulation for the U.S. Oh, okay, word bet. Let's yeah, see it. Let's do it. I just want to see it. I just I get, talk is cheap. Talk is cheap, and politicians are full of shit. Anyways, are you buying NFTs, OG? Are you looking at any, any NFTs? Or are you just like boom, meme bro, coins only? It's strictly meme coins, bro. NFTs are not gonna have a fucking insane run until like meme coin craze is at an all time low. Like NFTs are not gonna fucking fly. I you have like, so? zero faith. Like, wait, have you, have you looked into four fours at all, or have you like nah, paid attention I to them? I haven't. The only like look at four fours I've had is through Max's videos. Word, but yeah, like yeah. I think, I think right now uh, NFT collections should be doing basically what Frank's doing in the sense that he's just garnering as much attention as humanly fucking possible, like with like the videos that they're putting out, all the content that they're putting out, and getting that on to like him and by. Because he's an extension of the collection, D gods, etc., and just like not fucking pushing too much NFT wise until like the market sentiment reflects like NFTs are cool again and they might actually start pumping, and then you start like delivering and shit. But like right now, I don't think like NFTs are gonna do anything fucking substantial anytime soon. I think I think the way I look at NFTs right now is like, you know. Right now, until people are making fuck you levels of money, and I still don't think we're in that period yet. Yeah. But like once we're in that, like Bitcoin rips over a hundred thousand, all of that, then that's when we're gonna bring in a shit ton of new entrants. Currently, I still think a lot of this is like us trading against each other. Like yeah. I f- strongly believe that. I don't think we have a lot of new people coming in yet. Um, once we get to that point, I think at that point you're gonna have new people come in. They're like, hey, where do I go? First place, crypto Twitter. Okay, you go on there. You see people rocking PFPs and stuff like that. And I do think that's when people are going to go, oh, hey, like, which collection should I get into? Everything like that. And I think people are going to be looking for a place to, like, try to fit in to begin with. Because, yeah, if you're a new person coming into crypto culture, like, it's really difficult to find any sort of, like, lane to go yeah, in. the best way to do it is, is to join an NFT project. Yeah. yeah. So that's where I kind of think we'll see the run up. I don't necessarily think it's going to be, like, I don't think it's going to be when meme coins are at their lowest, actually. I think it's actually going to be probably when meme coins are at their highest. Because I think the amount of people then are going to be talking I about, I like... I don't even think this happens till next year. Yeah, yeah. It's impossible to know when, like, the market's going to truly fucking rip. But, yeah, like... Yeah. If you get to the point where, like, you know, Whiff is making Ansem a fucking damn near, you know, gazillionaire, like, when that point hits and you've got all these new people coming in, all that kind of shit, like, when that point hits, that's when new people come in, that's when they're going to need a community, that's when NFTs are going to find their value, and just like you said, though, and I completely agree with it, it's like, the best thing a project can be doing right now is just literally staying relevant and staying alive, like, do things to stay alive, do things to entice your community and everything like that, but I do think people in, like, Web3 culture need to fuck off a little bit with, like, like okay yes we're gonna talk about nfts going down in price right now like congratulations you used your brain like we're gonna see certain ones that are gonna go up right now but it's it's difficult and like to act like it's not is is like insane so it nft project founders are in a very difficult position right now but again i don't think we're like crazy far off from everything ripping to Valhalla, new people coming in, new people wanting to find their communities and fit in and everything like that. And I think NFTs are the greatest way to find your niche and find your like friend group in, in crypto culture yeah. is to join a, join a, join a culture that's already associated. I think it goes pretty much exactly as you said. Uh, I definitely think like once like peak bull markets happening, like everybody's making millions of dollars, this shit's world news. And like people on TikTok are like making the videos like, oh, like I just made like X amount of money with this coin. That's when new people are going to start coming in. And that's when NFTs are going to be popular again. In the sense of like new, co- like floor prices may be increasing, like new collections getting bought up rapidly because people want to find their place in this ecosystem. But like until then, I don't really see like NFTs doing much. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how we we've like almost full circled back into this whole like community is the main like yeah. part of it, but it, it truly is. It's like the community and network effects that you get off of whatever collection you're part of. Like if you're buying into an NFT today, like that's what you're buying into. You're buying into a community, you're buying into a network effect and you're buying into something that you also have to put effort into, right? Like if you're going to make a U, your PFP or you're going to make a D God, your PFP, or you're going to make something else, your PFP, a pudgy, a Zuki, whatever, like there's certain effort and contributions that you put in by having and repping that PFP that allows you to open doors within that community, within that network, find your people, find your niche, like all that sort of shit. Right. Um, and I think I think what we're also seeing is just like from a like from a brand perspective, like they look at these NFT communities as like power users of crypto. You know what right. I mean? Where it's just like 
there's an opportunity of you being a part of these different communities that will give you opportunities and access to certain things that you might not have had like without it. But if you're solely focused on like trying to figure out trading NFTs right now and making a profit off NFTs and like looking for big swings or nothing like that, like brother, you're brother, you're brother, you're cooked. You're cooked. I will say this, though. somebody's going to make a bag. Somebody's going to make a bag. Like there is going to be, we are going to see stories in like in maybe 2025 and maybe later in 2024, but we are going to see stories of somebody that's like, hey, while these NFTs were down bad, I bought, I bought a like shit ton. 800 board oh, yeah. 100%. And I'm, and I'm up, you know, tremendous, oh, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Like those I mean, stories are going to come. Oh, it's an accumulation phase, right? Yeah. Where it's just yeah, like, yeah. I do believe that NFTs and like the volume, especially for a lot of the top projects are like, they will come back. Right. But like even for new nft projects right now or like anything like that like yeah like to your point too even talking about tiktok and like people coming in i think it's just easier to get them in on a token or a coin than it is a piece of art or a jpeg oh no 100%. and i think that's just the that's, that's how, just the reality of it that's how i found out about meme coins like so one of my boys sent me a tiktok that was like safe moon the next thousand x i was like what the fuck is this and i threw a hundred dollars into it and pulled out four thousand I was oh, like, glad you got glad you got that out before that one <laughs> hundred dollars almost became a dollar fifty oh, right? yeah, yo. when yeah. shout out to a dollar fifty you know what you can buy with that oh what could you buy with that a costco hot oh, dog it is. Okay. mark is always uh, fucking shilling his bags no, bag I, I, bar cast. I barely have I, I i barely have bags in that that's just mark is a bag worker um, you gotta respect it you know you, you gotta, gotta respect you it. gotta respect the people who put in you, listen this is what i've learned with all of this shit it is I give a shout out and I'm gonna I'm give him a shout out, okay? And this is this, this is not a shill. This is not a shill. But the Mitchie community went oh, so yeah, damn hard with, the, with the memes. Listen, God if you damn, are. We should be talking about Mooski. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Or is it Mooski? Mooski. I thought it was Musky. I, ho I, I thought hope it was Musky. Oh, is it Musky? I don't know. Moose? I, ho Moose? I, ho I hope it's Mooski. Yeah, Moose no, I hope it's Mooski, bro. I hope it's M U Z K I. Musky? Mooski. Mooski? Mooski. Little Mooski. Little Mooski. <laughs> I'll go with Mooski. Kind of sounds more fire. But, but yeah. it, it is, it's something where I paid attention to, like, the why I got into Mitchie to begin with was when it was at like 10 million or whatever, they rated one of I think it was actually might have been a tweet about the podcast, but all of a sudden they just rated the shit out of it. Like every, every response, Mitchie, Mitchie, Mitchie. And I was like, well, I got to buy some like these people are crazy. That's and so I bought some and then just recognized like how crazy the community is. Kept seeing them rating other people's shit like all of that. Went into Telegram. Telegram is crazy. So then when Musky, Mooski, however we want to pronounce it, Musky, when Musky came out, Musky. like, I, dude, I literally for like three hours was like just cracked out on cold brew, making memes in fucking Canva. Like, and I, like half the ones that are out there for bro. it, I made because I was just like, bro, I love this. Like, I think it, I think it's hilarious. Literally, my cell, when I was sharing this ticker to people, I was like, bruh. It's Mark as a mouse. This shit is well, going to run. Uh, <laughs> this shit is going to run. It is nuts. literally Mark as a mouse. <laughs> that's nuts. That's nuts. That's crazy. Like, if anything, that's your meme coin. Fuck the cowboy shit. Mooski is you. Listen, Mark and Mooski. I, I, I do love, I do love, lo but here's the other thing. So, you know, we saw a pullback on meme coins the other day. And, uh, and when that happened, we like Muskie dropped from like 6 million to like 1.5. They push right back today. You know, it's glad to see. Bro, I said that. that Diehard communities, you pay attention to them. I said that on, like, I don't even know, mad episodes ago, and I'll still say it now. Like, bro, y'all got to be checking out some of these established memes right now. Like, yeah. the shit that, like, if they've been around since fucking January, February, and they're still here, and they're still keeping a relatively high market cap, like... There's He's, probably some room to run, my friend. Well, that's why that's why I bought a bag of Harambe because it was like Harambe was at I I can't even remember what it was at, but it was it was very low. Literally, and I, and I was like, it's not gonna take much for Harambe to pump because Harambe, bro, you know, Harambe, one of the like, goats, bro. Maltai R was like that for me too, where yeah. it was just like it ran up crazy. I think there was like a couple weeks ago where it ran up crazy. Um, and I was like, bro, I just know that like this shit is going to retrace right now. It's going to dip. And I think it dipped like 20 M market cap or some shit like to where yeah. it had reached. And I was just like, I had taken some profits and then just fucking re put it back in. Like, bro, no, this shit is establishing like, bro, NFA. But I think fucking Harambe goes to a billion market cap. It's literally like one of the most well-known memes of all time. Like 
if you ask a normie on the street what fucking mooski is, they're gonna be like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? You ask a normie on the, you ask a normie on the street, you ask a normie on the street, they're gonna be like, it's Mark Holzer, because we recognize Mark everywhere. Because Mark is just an influencer, you know, more popular than rappers. Crazy. But now you ask a motherfucker what Harambe is every single time. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, of course, fucking R.I.P. Harambe. You know what I'm saying? I voted for Harambe. When he was when he was going for president, bro. So did I. So yeah, did I. Oh God, I did. This fire. That might. <laughs> bro, send Harambe to fucking. Send Harambe to the moon. Send Harambe I to love, the White I House, love, bro. I love. I love the Harambe meme. Real question about Harambe though. Do you think the the guy who actually like had to pull the trigger on Harambe? Do you think he just listened like? Oh, he has PTSD, right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> do you think he's just <laughs> like <laughs> like every time he hears the every time he hears the name, it just haunt, it's just like in his head, it's like. Uh, do you think his wife just like he's laying in bed at night and she just she he, that like, meme of like what's she thinking what yeah. is he thinking and he's, about and she just looks at him she's like remember when you killed Harambe and he's like, <laughs> the guy's just a moose piss over it just bro's fuck. fucking rope maxing right now bro R.I.P. I don't even know what that means yeah I don't even know what that means either, <laughs> I'm not gonna ask questions in case that shit can yeah, get us canceled we're just gonna, yeah. but no I, I I mean I do think like you know obviously. NFA, like you said, but like I think there's a lot of room for Harambe to rip, especially if like the same people that like were riding for Harambe back when this shit actually happened, like and like that's how they get that's like they're onboarding the crypto, like yo, there's a Harambe token, like yeah, you know what I'm saying, like you remember, like I hey, all know. I gotta say I, is I definitely can I definitely could see it happening, but hey, is, bro, this is the first year that day, the anniversary of his death is recognized as a national holiday. Hey yo. Yeah, bro. So, it's all buy been a holiday to me. Buy on Cube Exchange. <laughs> buy on Cube Exchange. Buy, buy, buy some on Cube Exchange. If you you're know, not on just, Cube Exchange, yeah, what are you doing? What are you? you know, what are you doing? You know, probably there. You know, in the I, United yeah, States, they're, they're, yeah. if, if they're in the United States, it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's coming. coming. It's, it's, it's coming. on the soon. way. Yeah. But yeah, soon, buy, soon. buy some Harambe. Um, I think NFA, we. I think we end the podcast with what, what token right now? Obviously, outside of the ones that we mentioned, what token right now do you think is undervalued? NFA, but you think is undervalued? Maybe it's bottomed a little bit. Mog. This guy. Mog guaranteed, bro. How big's your bag? Bro, all I got to say is Mog, honestly, like... It's a like lifestyle. You, it literally <laughs> is a lifestyle, for one. But, like, yo, like you said, the team is, like... The team for Mog is the most cracked group of human beings I've ever met in my entire life. Oh. And it's actually disgusting. So, like, I feel like it's severely undervalued for what it could be. Can you do the handshake, Mark? Can you do the handshake? Like, let me teach you. Well, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know there was a handshake. Oh, he doesn't know. Hey, come on, man. Motion, motion, motion. I didn't, motion. I didn't, you know I didn't, I didn't. bro. The amount of times I was doing that in the club that night, bro, like, oh god, oh god. Bro. I didn't know there was a handshake. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're not really tapped in. Bro. Oh, you know what I'm okay. You're not really tapped oh, in. Okay. You're, you're, Mark, you're like, you're like, the culture's here, and you be like right here in your oh, dad mode. Tap you know these what I'm nuts, saying? Like, tap these nuts, okay? <laughs> uh, tap these mm. oh, Fuck this guy. Yeah. Um, okay, what's your answer then? Um, honestly, the one I just mentioned, I'm going with Maotai. Okay. Like, I just think that fucking like, bro, they got a fucking mascot. This dude is traveling places. Like, bro, they fucking have the Chad Gold. Chad Gold, yeah. They have the, but also Maotai man. No, I know. I'm saying, um, yeah. In, oh, yeah, in yeah, addition, yeah, they yeah. got Chad Gold. Um, in addition, they got Chad Gold. They have the fucking Asian community. Like, obviously, I just think. Bro, like this shit hasn't even hit like multi hundred and market cap yet. Yeah. Like, Word. I just think, bro, like, and it's an actual like, it's a like a popular and like physical like bottle as well, right? Like, it's a product like people can fucking like post about it, all this type of shit, and like that just lends itself in it like in its own way to have content things around it. So, yeah, I don't know. I I, I feel like Mount is mad undervalued right now. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I'll go with Stanley. Hey, you got a bottle right there. We should yeah. take a shot. No, there's like very little left, and that's I'm treating that shit truly like liquid gold. So, oh, word. So no, you don't even like that shit. Oh hell no! Fuck you, fuck you. You, you can't even handle that's it. That's disrespectful. I literally the took little a shot amount, of it. the little amount that you take have a shot in right there. Now. No, I literally did that two like days ago. I'm not literally. I'm not shots. getting rid of it. There's very little left. Um, anywho. Stanley for me. I'll go with Stanley. I think Stanley's meme game is so insane. Yeah, and nice. it's like it is just like the their response. What's their are market gold? cap at right now? Low, like sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah, bro. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. 
I still remember them doing that like first person shooter video with the Stanley yeah, Cup, first bro. Shooter. And the, in the elevator, it had yeah, all the one. other tokens, bro. That's so. That's still some of the best meme coin content I've seen. Oh, is facts. that video? Yeah. I and then I'll know. always say used car. Uh, going back to what you were saying yeah, a while ago, but car. Uh, please get I hope that shit breaks down on wow. you. Has no Damn. oil. Sonny's a hater, you know. I would, I would never. Bro, take I've that just mark. had to hear about used cars so many times, just like fucking. Uh, what's it called? Just unprovoked, and I'm just you know I'm sick of it. Even right now, we asked for one ticker. He's <laughs> he fucking doing two. two. Well, he had to go two, two because now? he's Mark. Yeah, are we doing two? Hey, what's your second you know what? one, OG? You know what? Yeah, yeah, no. What's your second one, OG? <laughs> okay. All right, give shit, us a look, second look. one. Matter of fact, I'll give you three, bro. Oh, oh my yeah. god, we did all work on three. Now hey, keep up in the number. Let me get Mumu and let me get hey, yo, out there, bro. Hey, yo. Like, check out the hat, bro. The hat goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? Super undervalued. Twenty some mil. Come on. But like Harambe, obviously, those are like that's my top three right now. Harambe is like, come on, I don't even need to say too much about too much. That's fair. Are you going three two? Or I got I got Trump with cap. Oh, that's like a two hundred k market. <laughs> exactly. All right, we're not still on a two hundred k. Two hundred k is crazy. That, it could literally hey. be in the time we've recorded this podcast. <laughs> that run. token hey. might have run. Yeah, literally. It pumped. It's down. I'm still holding. We waiting bro, for you're trying to find political your liquidity season. Right yeah, now, yeah. that's we crazy. We waiting for political season. Bro. I feel like we could at least catch a few few M's. And you know a, NFA, but under, like a. under a mill is crazy. That's bro. crazy. No, no shilling tickers under a mill. We need to work our way up at least <laughs> past <laughs> that. My God. Bro, if the liquidity is underneath your follower count, hey, you should yeah. not be talking hey, about it, bro. Like, hey, fuck, dude. Hey, hey. <laughs> if that shit goes stupid in two weeks, I'm coming back to this podcast and pulling up on you, Mark, with the receipts. Just okay. know. Okay. Just the same way that you're on your Mitchie this, Mitchie that. Yeah, I'm gonna come back with Trump with cap. That's Watch. crazy, this crazy. Watch, it's a, it's a <laughs> derivative of a derivative of a derivative. Crazy. Um, okay, last thing, last thing. Who is one person in the space right now that you guys have been recognizing last week or so has just been killing it? Rasmer, Rasmer, 100. percent We literally said that the last podcast. Yeah, Shout I, out Rasmer. I met, uh, I met him this week, and like we've been hanging out a lot. And oh, is he LA based? No. Oh. Uh, he was here for like a while, but he left Tuesday. Yeah. But Damn. yeah, I mean, like, dude is absolutely fucking cracked. And like, it's cool because like he hadn't really hung out with Web3 people before. And like, you know, I was like, bro, come fuck, come over to the house. Let's all link. And like, bro is was literally just a sponge for information. He was like, he was like, I want to know literally every, the ins and outs of like what you do to create. And like, we're just bouncing ideas off of each other for like hours. And like, bro is bro's tapped in. Bro's ready to explode. Like, he's a fucking goat. There it is. There it is. Sonny, what about you? I'm going with Max just because she dropped that fucking video. That the, video the, was crazy. The D-Gods video. Yeah. That video was like, I sometimes I just go watch the video and just get hyped off of it, honestly. Oh, it's yeah. like, it's a hype video for real. Um, nah, Max and, is there for sure. And honestly, she, like, she's been killing it for a really, really long time. Facts. Um, so I don't want it to be like, oh, she just got a D-God this week, so I'm shouting her out. But because she's been killing it for a really long time. So I think it's just like a, it's been a, Thing of just like her content just is continuing to elevate bro, um but her educational content is just on it goes crazy level, yeah it goes crazy honestly facts that's facts no we love max but uh i'm gonna give a shout out to dj.en i don't know if you guys know him also goes by dj underscore bud soul the guy is a meme coin legend like this guy works so damn hard for oh, his yeah. bags i turned on twitter notifications for him a long time ago and it's because he is in the trenches. Like, the amount of just, like, gold he's found for me. Like, I owe that guy dinner. I owe that guy, like, you know. Hey, DJ, you better cash in. Hit one night with Sonny, in. like, you know, whoa, something whoa, like whoa. that. <laughs> Don't be trying to pimp out other people. Uh, hey, pimp out yourself, all right? Crazy. He actually, yeah. <laughs> one night with me goes, this is very valuable. <laughs> you can't just pimp that shit out, <laughs> all right? That's worth so slightly you better relax. That's so worth less than the Costco relax. hot dog. You chill right you there. Better can, relax. We, can we also do our favorite shit poster? Yeah. Who you got? All right. Yo. For sure, for me, like, I've been w watching dudes' tweets and cracking the fuck up. Glebel is the funniest motherfucker I've oh, ever seen. I don't on know Twitter. if I'm familiar with this game. Like, bro, he's so fucking funny. Uh, I think one of his tweets that had me dying for like a couple of days was like, uh, <laughs> some POV. Somebody asked me uh, about the suspiciously K money shaped, uh, <laughs> like part of my stomach, and I was like, nah, I haven't seen him, bro. I was fucking crying. He was like, "Where's K money?" He's like, "I don't know," patting my weirdly k money shaped stomach haven't seen him in a bit bro. what what does k money shaped stomach mean i'm bro. lost he chomped this. him bro 
Wait, he, what? He, he chomped Ooh, him. What? He ate him. <laughs> bro, he ate got, him, bro. You got me lost. Bro, bro, no, no, no. I'm, I'm doing a disservice to Glebel, but bro is an absolute fucking goat. That's why he's on Fantasy Top 2. Like, Fair. Put some- Let's talk yeah. about yeah. Hey, Let's what about the fuck? Fantasy yeah. Top oh, shit. Do you, are you on there? Am I on there? Do like, I have a card? Like, yeah, do you have a card? No. I, I don't have a card either. I'm pissed off about it. Do you why, have a card? Why would you soon? have a card, Mark? I don't know. I kind of thought I'd have a card. No. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Yeah, I don't who know. The fuck do you who think the you are, fuck do you think who you are, fuck? Mark? Honestly. Some of us are in the track. Like, I'm about to make a fucking Travis Breckle fucking diss track, bro. A, a Travis fucking diss track? You don't even know who that you is, and you want a fantasy top card? And you want a fantasy top card? Wait, wait. That's insane. Oh, yeah. You don't know who Travis is? What the fuck? Who the fuck do you think you are, Mark? Yo, Mark's ego be like, oh, that's fucking crazy. Roof. That's through crazy. the roof. I can feel it from here, bro. Listen, bro, bro, through the Listen. roof. Talking hey, about, I don't hey, have a fantasy if top we had card. cards, we we would open up the podcast being like, yo, my fantasy top card a little low in value right now. You got to be buying it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm You got to be buying it. Yeah, NFA. <laughs> well, okay. NFA, I, but NFA. I don't, I don't. Well, NFA, but I don't, I don't have one, so there's nothing to, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no. Type shit. Type shit. <laughs> it's it's interesting though. People are just fucking betting on influencers and their fucking engagement on Twitter. You have yeah. F- uh, what's his name? Franklin fucking just like bro, posting the, the same video <laughs> like bro five every minutes five <laughs> minutes. Franklin's posting a video. See you in five minutes. <laughs> bro, like that is the craziest shit I've seen. Like bro, I'll say bro, this. Yeah. I'm very curious to see how how Blast Gold plays out because everybody right now is like, I'm farming Blast Gold. I'm farming Blast Gold. I'm farming Blast Gold. And when I first heard about it. It was they were talking twenty five dollars for for one uh, blast gold. I heard somebody the other day say it's probably going to go for a buck, and I was like, "Well, it's gone down a little bit in terms of what people are speculating." But I'm very curious. It'll be very interesting. In I think before a hundred dollar blast gold, <laughs> would love that. But <laughs> we'll see. The summertime is going to be real interesting with blast because we're about to you know we're about to, about to find out another liquidity injection. I beg. Are you there know? are there villains on Fantasy Top or is it only heroes? There's only heroes, but like Word. I feel like so every once in a while you see like Clemente doing a like an anti hero type thing where he's like, Yo, fuck fantasy top. They're absolutely cooked this week. And I think that's funny as hell. Hey, yo, fuck fantasy top. Make me into a villain. Bro, I'm about to <laughs> Yo Loki, Sonny is a villain. Loki, truly. You put out villains, bro. That shit would be jokes. Yeah, put out villains and make me one of the first villains. Oh, and God. and the, what's the other the other one is heroes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, make me one and we'll compete against each other. Yeah, you would want to be on the fucking hero. Well, I'm not going to be on the same team as you. I don't want to be on the same team as you. You have like this Captain America energy to you. Oh, that's (laughs) crazy. That's crazy. (laughs) That seems racial. (laughs) Is it? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean by (laughs) that? It means you're like the the, you're like the standard white guy. Yo, Travis, put me on fucking fantasy top. You're just not. You're just not as tall as Captain America. (sighs) You know, you could be like mini Captain America. He needs like. Hey, you know what? They will put you on, Sonny. They, they put you on fantasy bottoms, okay? That's, <laughs> That's what they crazy. put you That's on. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Pause. <laughs> 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 All right, we're wrapping up this podcast yeah. episode. Shout out Cube Exchange. Shout out Photo Finish for making sure we had a great time in Kentucky. And, uh, and shout out OG for just being a living legend here. And, uh, and shout out TG for just catching strays in this podcast episode. Yo, I have Always in motion. Always in motion. Always in motion. That's for Mark, baby. Mark, gang, gang. Nah, hell no. (laughs) God damn it. Mark, gang, gang. Dad mode, Mark. (laughs) Daddy. No. Dad Dad mode. Cut that out immediately. I don't think nobody's (laughs) calling you daddy, Mark. (laughs) Oh. He I'm said, sorry. You'd be surprised. Oh, <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that? That's supposed to be me? You know what? Fuck this guy, OG. Okay? What is that? Is that how I sound to you? That's crazy. Oh, damn. I had to use my white dad accent. Oh, yeah. fuck. That hey, was hey. funny as fuck. The moment this podcast is over, I want you guys to fuck out my apartment. Okay? <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. All right. Anywho, that's today's episode. Fuck both these guys. And, uh, damn, that's how you feel? That's how you feel? <laughs> that's how you feel? Well, God damn it, Mark. <laughs> like, well, well, I'll be damned. Well, well, I'll be damned. Y'all are the worst. <laughs> Golly G. Golly G. That's- Golly G. Willikers, buddy. <laughs> You're on thin ice, pal. <laughs> it really be the ones, you know. You know, it's like I got so much love for both of you guys. That's the shit I get. Hey, bro, we love you, Mark. You know what I'm saying? You just got some bad tendencies. Yeah, daddy tendencies. 
Stop. No, Stop. no, bro. Stop. No. Daddy. There's, there's just something about like being in a room with only two other guys and, and calling yourself daddy, daddy yeah, that just like it's gotta stop, it's just bro. weird. You know what I mean? It's just like it's there's, just, there's just it's not really the vibe. Crossed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You kind of make me uncomfortable. You're making our guests uncomfortable. Yeah. If we had an HR, you'd be fucked. Yeah, I think like <laughs> Web3 HR, we'd all be fucked. Okay. No, 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 just you. Okay. Yeah, just you. All right. You know what? Okay. This episode's over. We should have ended it 10 minutes ago. This is how we end up with these forever long episodes that take forever long to edit. So with that, this episode's <laughs> you, over. You just, so, you yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I, 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 this is over. This all is right, over. We outie, we Bye. Outie. Oh, we out this bitch.